Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Bill Ball. Today's video is about losing your shit, marriage, etc. Guys, so guys, without further ado, let's get started. Off this shit. So I've been trying to learn, uh, learn how to fix shit around the house. That's what's filling up all this time of just being sober. That's brutal, dude. You have no idea how long a year is until you're stone sober. That's oh, fucking brutal. So I'm learning how to fix shit, right? My girlfriend doesn't like it because she says I have a temper. You know, she's like, you know, it's just not that you're trying to fix things. It's that you get frustrated, you punch the wall, the dog starts shaking. I just don't think it's a good idea. You know, you're a comedian. You should tell jokes. He's a plumber. He should plumb, right? <laughs> trying to explain to her that losing your shit is part of the process of fixing something, right? Everybody does that. You buy, right? Yeah. You buy something at Ikea. You get halfway through putting it together. You're like, dude, where the fuck is the fucking... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> well, honey, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Well, hey, you want to put it together? You want to... Well, then you put it together. You put together this fucking particle board piece of fucking shit. These instructions make no sense. I will buy another one. I will buy another one. I'll buy fucking five and smash four if I want to. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, go to your mother's. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what story are you going to tell? This one, right? Not the part about how I pay all the fucking bills, right? <laughs> how was that uncalled for? How was that uncalled for? I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to the fucking thing. I was talking to the fucking thing. <laughs> I know what I said. I know what I said, okay? You don't need to tell me. I know what I said, yes. I am working on it. I am working on it, all right? Look, look, you think I wanna be this guy? You think I wanna be the guy who flips out about the fucking tables? I don't, okay? This isn't who I am, this is who I became, all right? I'm working through this shit. You didn't have to speak, well, you do shit too, okay? You do shit too. Well, I thought you were going to your mother's! <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. I ain't having a temper, man. It's fucking embarrassing. You know? I don't know. I'm sick of women trying to... Every girl I ever date's always trying to fix me. It gets annoying after a while, you know? Like you're not out of your mind with all your fucking shoes. <laughs> right? What is that all about? I'm sick of this hypothetical perfect guy. Go get him. Go down to Applebee's. Let me know what you find. Okay? I've had it. I'm working. I'm trying. You go down and you get this Mr. Even Keeled all the time with his little fucking sport coat, right? Guys, this is lovely. You know, there's something about marriage. You will not always get it right. You know, it will always be misunderstanding. It just depends on how you are able to walk through it. And, you know, it's can actually make or break you because you can be a sweet loving guy or a sweet loving lady. It depends on who you decide to end up with. The person can either make you the worst version of yourself or make you the better version of yourself, you know. And, you know, when it comes to marriage, there's nothing like perfection. We all have our issues. We all have our flaws. We all have what we are battling with. The best thing is if your partner says he or she don't want this, learn how to work on it. It's simple. And, you know, I, I just love how he, he tells joke out of his experience in life. You know, there are so many things he has been through when it comes to marriage. And he feels like... By telling this to the world, at least I, I will make them happy and get something back for myself. This is, this is lovely. We have all been there. We have all lost our shit before. We've all gotten so angry. We feel like punching the wall. We just feel like, you know, screaming to let the anger out. We've all been there. If you're sincere with yourself, we've all been in that position, guys. And it all depends. It's, it's a phase that will pass away, you know. You just learn how to control the anger and it will pass away, guys. I love how it's making this sound so funny and I love how the audience are, you know, they're enjoying it and, you know, that's what they pay for. They pay to be happy. They pay to, to you know, to forget about their problems, to forget about their depression and all. They just want someone to put a smile on their face and Bill is doing an excellent job. You know, he's, he's, he's good, you know, I can, I, I'll give him that. He's really, really good when it comes to, you know, putting a smile on our face. You, you live with that guy for a while, you know? Hey, honey, I'm home. How are you? Well, traffic was crazy, almost lost it, but thank God I had that book on tape, right? <laughs> Gulliver's Travels, always a classic, always a classic. That's the guy you want, straight across the board, even in the bedroom, right? 
always making love to you, missionary style. I love you, your hair is like an ocean. <laughs> Never know when you like to be flipped over and have your face mushed into the pillows, you fucking psycho, right? <laughs> ah, she's right. She's always right. I do, I gotta work on it. I hate having a temper, you know? I don't know if it's hereditary, I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped, you know? My dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> it was hilarious. He'd see something broke. Oh, Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy, give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. 13 goddamn years of this shit. Oh, you're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. Give me the pliers. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. <laughs> that was one of his catchphrases. Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. Then I got older, you know, started dating. I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> He's not expressing them in the healthiest of ways. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes. You know, where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know, when did they stop making those angels who just knew it had nothing to do with them? They just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? What a luxury, right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. How was your day? How the fuck was your day? I'm out here making decisions. Keep these kids away from me. Give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the tears. <laughs> then the bra burning generation came in, right? Now you get to sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. So I was supposed to go out to lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up, she's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to, <laughs> trying to hold it up. You know? You can't, even if you're trying to pay attention, you can't. Then you just start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Guys, I... I've actually been there, you know. I've I've been in a situation, but okay, I've been in a situation where I I I just don't want to listen. I just want to just you know. I'm I'm having a bad day, okay. So I just want to come back home and just you know be myself. And all of a sudden, she's telling me this and this and this. This is this and this. You know, the 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 thing is, we just have to listen no matter our bad day because you know. It takes two to tango. The fact that you have a bad day does not mean this other person has a good day. So sometimes you just need to just give them the listening ear. But you know, also we also want to be ourselves. We just want to you know have that little space where we can clear our head. You know, just lie down, sleep, and make sure okay and relax. You know, and after that we can listen to everything you have to say. It all depends on communication. If you're able to communicate your partner, okay, can I? rest then we'll talk about this later if she's an understandable person i think she will, she will let you rest because sometimes when you come back home even looking at your face he or she will understand that now nah, i don't think he has a good day or she has a good day so it's it depends on communication and understanding if if you guys are you know understand each other very well i don't think you'll be going through this guys because i i definitely understand what he's saying because i've been there before and you know bill is He's good. He's just awesome. When he when he when he tells his joke, he has a straight face. When he look at you, he you 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 surely laugh because of how he expresses himself on stage, guys. And I love that about him. I just love that about him. I really want to check out more of his video. If you have any recommendation, drop it down in the comment section, guys. He's like, it starts fading off. You start thinking about your own life, right? Why don't I take Nebraska, given twenty-eight? The fuck is wrong with me? It's an away game. All of a sudden, her voice goes, eh? It goes up. Right? And you're like, ah, oh, fuck, that was a question. 
All right, now what do you do? Can't say yes, you can't say no, you gotta come with something neutral. Hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> it is what it is, you put one foot in front of the other and uh, you know, <laughs> halftime adjustments, uh, got nothing. <laughs> no. I don't wanna make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man, but you know, I, I understand him though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? You got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody you used to love and now want to slap the shit out of, right? <laughs> Kids coming up to the walk, you're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat, but dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> Brutal. My dad was the exact opposite. Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Pre-Oprah, pre-Dr. Phil, pre-chicken soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet. The pressure of that, feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you. Every three, four days, he would just snap. Just snap out of nowhere, you know? Can you pass this all? Now you fucking bitch, how the fuck am I getting married for this bullshit? Boom, he'd slam the door. Have the car in third gear by the time we got it to the end of the driveway. Bum, 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 bum. My mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, hmm. And he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. But what is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he'd show up, no apology. She'd have dinner ready. She messed it up, he'd give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of it! I think I'll be a good dad, though. You know? <laughs> I do. Wow, guys, this is, this is amazing. You know, I, I, like I said, he think he'll be a good dad, and I definitely support that because, you know, he already know his flaws, and I see him as a person that is working towards correcting those flaws, guys, and definitely he's going to be a good dad. I just love, you know, watching his videos because he has a video of, you know, cracking me up, guys, and... You know, he has an amazing mom because I don't think you will make a woman angry, then go out and come back and expect her to prepare food for you. She will always want to, you know, talk to you about what really happened and make sure you guys settle before even thinking of going to the kitchen. Well, like I said, they said they don't produce such ladies anymore. So guys, that's another video. If you enjoyed this video and want me to react to more of you, let me know in the comment section. If this is your first time visiting my channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Remember this.